the way that a, a culture gets stronger is by people taking old material and reinvesting it with um, with new um, energy and 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 re um, positioning things and changing things around. And a painting that was entirely original and didn't, you know, um, use other people's. Uh, ideas and uh, you know, other people's images would not seem current to me. You know, you're not reinventing the wheel. You you need, you need to take from different places and and make um, things through hybridization. You know, uh, when I go to the Frick or you know a, a museum to see you know the old Renaissance or um, classical paintings that I you know I really love. The, the, that's the art that I most respond to. I'm not concerned who the Duke is that Holbein is painting, or if I if I know exactly the story behind um, Saint Francis of Assisi and his uh, the great Bellini painting <clears throat> at the Frick. That is that is not um, my concern. Of course, that that often can add a level of interest, but. But my, my, <clears throat> my main concern is to make a, a beautiful painting. If you're trying to historicize something and, and claim that it, it has the same importance of, as uh, you know, a, a, the deposition of Christ, then you might you know, use Van der Weyden's deposition painting to kind of hammer that home. I, I, you know, I want my paintings to be very obvious. Like, I, I feel like they sometimes work on many levels, but I think they must be accessible. I use what is available to me and, and to have a, as wide-ranging a, um, a, a method of communication as I, as I can. What is interesting about our culture is that we can take from each other and recombine things and make something interesting. And like, uh, and you don't you don't want to I don't want to make that the issue in my paintings so much, but I, I I want that to be part of the fabric of of the paintings.